Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. We're back up here on the mountain because we're doing a little bit of cleanup work uh, and repair work and getting things ready. So surprise, surprise, um, I bought the property. Um, I know I hadn't really talked about it previously in a video. Uh, we we're kind of keeping it on the hush hush. Um, uh, just trying to keep it on the down low for a while. And uh, now the word's out to everyone who needs to know. And um, yeah, we're going to be moving up here in a couple of months, which I'm a little bit nervous about, uh, very excited about, but it's gonna be quite the change and um, something I'm super excited for. <laughs> I know I already said that, but um, kind of at a, you know, at a loss for words, how do you express you know, uh, your excitement and nervousness both at the same time? Um, I've done a little bit of work already. Um, I might throw that in this video. I might not. We're going to try and uh, uh, maybe do things a little bit differently, spread spread some content out over a couple of days rather than um, by over a couple of days. I mean, a couple of days for me, 10, 20 minutes for you. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I've done so far. All right. Welcome to what's going to eventually be my what, what do you say humble abode um anyway so i know i've so, shown some videos in the past um uh there's a couple of videos that i have where i've done some uh cooking up here and whatnot some dinners and whatnot but i've completed the floor removal process here um so this used to be just a whole bunch of tiles and whatnot and you know some hardwood floor I've removed all of that and um, under here, under this floor here, this is where the kitchen used to be. Um, it's, I mean, it's pretty well rotted. Um, once it dry, I mean, I thought about just, you know, sanitizing, cleaning the floor, uh, you know, um, just cleaning it really good and making it a lot better. But look at that huge dip there. Um, I don't think there's any getting around that dip. And that's kind of what my biggest concern is, is just a huge dip there. You can see it comes up quite a bit here. A lot of it, you know, might be optical illusions. Um, I do have a straight edge around here somewhere, but basically um, I got, we're replacing the floor um, and we're like, 85% sure we're, we're replacing the subfloor. Um, if we take a look in here, this is the bedroom here. Um, I've already got the floor picked out and everything, so we're good on we're good on that. So now it's just a matter of um, you know getting this in here cleaned up, cleaned out, and ready to go. Um, my goal for today is to get um, a fair amount of this stuff here moved out into that shed right there. That's my goal for today. Um, that and this wall right here below the stairs uh, will be coming out as well. So this cabin was built in, uh, I think my dad said 83 or something like that. Um, I was born in 86. Um, Anyways, um, yeah, so that's how old this floor is. And a lot of this floor is just particle board. And uh, if you know anything about wood, particle board is probably about the worst plywood that there <laughs> is. So, um, I mean, it's surprising that it's lasted this long, in my opinion. But uh, this here obviously is not particle board. So that was replaced at some point. Um, but like this here, this is particle board. This is all particle board, all the original particle board. So I don't know what, why this ever got replaced. Maybe there used to be a sink or something here, but that got replaced. And um, yeah, if you just take it, and it's probably not gonna come out in the video well, but I mean, there is a huge obvious dip there. You know, there's a high spot here. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot of work on it. I'm gonna get to work removing some of this stuff and um, we'll go from there. Well, I didn't make it quite as far as I wanted to today. We are a little bit more echoey though, so we are making progress. Um, as you can see, you know, this wall is still here, the couch is still here. 
But we've removed everything else that was in here. We've got rid of the cupboards, which I was thinking about, you know, those cupboards have been there forever. You know, I was thinking, you know, should we get rid of the cupboards? Should we leave them, you know? Because, you know, that was kind of grandpa's thing. He had his cupboards up there and, you know, they've been there forever. And, uh, you know, it gave it some of that, that, that old feeling that it used to have. But after taking the cupboards down, I'm sure glad I did because that is the most mouse crap that I have ever seen in a single location. All right, guys, welcome to a new day. We are back up here on the mountain. Just trying to gain my footing. We had a new toy to play with. This, this arrived today. Well, I guess we got two new toys to play with, except we're not playing with this one today. This here is an instant hot water heater um that my dad had got previously and uh, i guess he just hadn't gotten around to installing it yet this here is a dual fuel um 4500 watt 35 continuous i believe right i think it's 35 continuous or 37 continuous or 32 this is going to just kind of get us through for a little while until we get solar panels uh hooked up and um um, so we've got, it's dual fuel, so it runs off of gasoline or propane. Um, and uh, I, I test started it up earlier. It was blowing a little bit of white smoke. Um, but I think that's just because the piston ring still got to get broken in. All right. Well, that generator cooks off some of that residual oil. I think what I'm going to do is get to work on this wall here and um, remove this bottom half. And... Um, I may or may not remove these steps. I probably should, so I probably will. Um, and that's my goal for today. That's, it's just quite simple. Uh, run the generator for, you know, an hour or so, remove this wall, and just call it a short day. Well, it's getting a little bit dark in here. I'm making some great progress though. Um, as you can see, I got rid of the wall down here and on the stairs, but I haven't made as much progress as I thought I was going to make before I brought you guys back. And um, the reason is, check this out. How disgusting is that? <laughs> That's probably, I don't know, 30, 40 plus year old uh, mouse nest. Wow. I was considering not removing these steps. In fact, I think that's even in the the last clip. And um, I'll tell you what. At this point, I am certainly glad that I decided to uh, take care of that. That was pretty disgusting. <laughs> so disgusting. Uh, boy. <laughs> it's good that it's cleaned up. It's good that we're replacing these floors, but I don't think I've ever seen a nest that big. That nest was huge. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Well, I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to finish up here a little bit. Uh, it stinks in here, by the way. <laughs> that nest smells disgusting. Um, what I'm going to do at this point, clean up all of this wood, take it down to uh, uh, the burn area. And um, hopefully this weekend we could burn some of this stuff, do a little bonfire or something, get some of this stuff burned up. Um, but man, I'm glad that I got that done. I am. I'm, I'm extremely happy about it, but it stinks rancid in there. So anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're going to call it here and, um, we're going to call it here for the day. Hey girls. Hey girls doing? <laughs> 